Are you a college student? Of course you are. You're in this class. So listen up because we have some news for you. You need to go out and buy maize pepper spray. Why is this? Well, there is a lot of rape and sexual assault that happens on a college campus and we want you to be safe. How much of this actually happens on a college campus? Well, let's take a look at some statistics. 11.2% of all students experience rape or sexual assault through physical force, violence, or incapacitation. Among undergraduate students, 23.1% of female and 5.4% of male experience rape or sexual assault. That's a lot. Various benefits come from having this product at your side. One no longer has to worry about going out at night or having to rely on your bare fists as your media defense. MACE is legal in all 50 states, thus you already have the law on your side. Sure, one may say that a gun or knife is more effective. However, the number of hoops one has to jump through to acquire a concealed carry permit for a gun, let alone buy a gun legally in some states like New York or California, take too much time. A hidden knife, while also effective, can get you in serious trouble. Along with the firearm, one needs a concealed carry permit for a knife longer than 5 inches. Legal problems aren't the only thing barring people from just carrying a gun or a knife. Morals also play a part. With a gun or a knife, you have the high potential to kill someone. Albeit self-defense, taking a life presents traumatic experiences for people. With mace, you just temporarily blind them with enough time to escape or incapacitate them until the police arrive. On the topic of police, the average response time for cops to arrive is 18 minutes, compared to the mere seconds it takes to aim, press, and blind your attacker. This is pepper spray, and it's used for self-defense when you are being attacked by an unwanted person. There are many different types of pepper spray, but these two are commonly used for self-defense. This pepper spray is easy to carry with you. It's attachable to your keyring or keychain. When you are ready to deploy the spray, all you have to do is point it in the direction of your target, then turn the knob counterclockwise, then press down the button while spraying your victim ear to ear. The second pepper spray is also able to be attached to your keyring or keychain. When it's time to use the pepper spray, point it in the direction of your target. Flip the safety clip up, then press down on the button while spraying your victim ear to ear. Pepper spray is by far the safest and easiest way to put down your perpetrator because the pain of the pepper spray lasts for 30 minutes to an hour. We want to get a good firm grip, lift up the safety, put our thumb underneath, paint the suspect with a big smile from ear to ear. Because there's no long-lasting, long-term harmful effects from this, it's a great alternative in the use of force. On a college campus, Sexual assault is a term that is heard often. Carrying around pepper spray will not only prevent the situations from occurring, but hopefully put them to an end. Pepper spray is extremely cheap for the effect it can have on someone. It can be easily found at any drugstore like CVS, which is down the road from Kutztown, or a department store like Target or Walmart. If you want to be lazy, you can go online and visit Amazon and have it delivered to your dorm. Pepper spray averages at about $10 a can, which is the cheapest out of all self-defense methods. We hope that after watching this video that you too consider buying some maize pepper spray. It might save yours or somebody else's life in a time of need.